Good afternoon, team. Today, we would like to show you how you can create your own signatures as a soft signature instead of printing the paper and making the signatures. So, uh, first of all, I would like to show you one of the methods that you can draw your own signatures, which is you have to go to the Paint 3D. You press a new and you choose the marker. You can select the color that you'd like to have, and then you can just make your own signature the way that you want it to be. Let's say this is the one that I have it as a sample. I go to the magic select. I will make sure that I cropping all the area that I will not need so we can minimize it when we do the processing. Once this is done, I have to go to the right hand side and press next. And if you see right now the, the part which is right now glowing, which means the part that is already taken, the part in the back will be discarded so it can delete the white space in the back. What I will do right now, I need just to take out those white fields that can hi like hide some of the fields in the document when I place my own uh, um, when I'm placing my own signature. So right now I will scroll, zoom out and zoom in here and press into this white field. Yep. Add this missing part here. Yeah, now it's good. And I have to remove it from this part as well. And I'll add this missing part. So right now, uh, if I would just look how it looks like, it looks really good. So I can just proceed uh, for this one as a signature. I will go and proceed, press done. And I will go to the top left menu. I'll go to menu, save as, image. I have not to click on the transparent part because it will show you shadow. I will just save this document and I press soft sign. And I'll keep it in my desktop. And now I'm done with the uh, Paint 3D. I can just close it and I can go to the file that I want. So if your file is PDF ready, no need to go through this step. But right now, because I want to make changes on one Excel file, because Excel and Word is not the best way to put your signatures because uh, it's not secure. Anybody can take the picture and put it any place. So <clears throat> in this document, you can fill the information here before you convert it to the PDF, as I'm going to show you. Or you can leave it later. But if you have any kind of equations, you better make it fill the file before the conversion because if you converted the file, you cannot, uh, the, the, the formulas will not be working. So I will go to File, Print, and I will select Microsoft Print to PDF. It might be not the default for you. Uh, I just assign it for me the default currently because right now I'm printing the, the PDF more than printing regular and I go to print and it will tell you what you'd like to save the file I put advanced payment I go to save and now the file will be coming in here yeah here it is I'll delete this one for now so advanced payment is here I will just select here double click into this one and I'll go to the field which is sign. And in sign, I'll put like add text. Here, I can put the date of today. And I can add all the fields that I require to have. And here, I can add the GL codes, all the parts. So in the place signature, I will just clear saved signature, which is the one that I'm using. And I will just use the one that we have. So method number two, you can go here and draw your signatures and you can draw your signatures directly, but I did not feel uh, comfortable because it's not clear enough, but it works for you if you like. But I'll go to use image with a method that I have used and I go there and I'll go to the soft sign. Ah, oh, sorry, it's in desktop. Soft sign. And I will accept this document as a signature. And here you can see the cursor will became as a big signature field. So I can just expand it and it will not overlap anything. If I would like to add the signature again, I go there and click. I can add it and it will be working perfectly. Uh, once you're done, you just make save. 
and it will save the file it will add in the end dash signed so it will be for your reference to know that this file is signed so i will close this file and i will see the dash signed one this one is secure even if anybody tried to copy this file it will go as a blank square it will not show him anything which it can secure your signature from fraud or anybody can copy it after you've done this one you can delete your soft sign file or you can hide it some other place so you can make sure that nobody is, is having it if you have any further challenges for, for the same please reach out to the it department and we'll be happy to assist you thank you for watching